This is not a painting about the romance of the steam era. This painting is a record of contemporary industrialization, the new world of fast travel and heavy machinery. Claude Monet's The Gare Saint-Lazare, Arrival of a Train, painted in 1877, shows the dramatic entrance of a steam train to the Gare station at Saint-Lazare. The billowing smoke and steam assaults our senses, announcing the arrival of the train with its passengers and freight, and the soon departure of more passengers on the next part of the journey. Claude Monet, the French Impressionist, had been painting for around 20 years by the time he executed Arrival of a Train. It was Monet, certainly one of the best known Impressionists, who had painted the artwork that gave Impressionism its name, Impression Sunrise, exhibited only three years earlier to considerable controversy. More on this painting in a future video. Trains heralded a new world of faster travel they were the most visible of the new industrial approach, their heavy steel and prolific smokestacks symbolising a world that was testing how far industrialisation could take us. They also depicted freedom, a way to escape to far off places, previously literally out of reach without considerable effort. Other artists also depicted the new wonder, but it was Monet who seemed fascinated by them. In this one we see a train pulling into a station, more from the perspective of the train. And here we have a side view, the massive smoke and steam trail dwarfing the train and obliterating the countryside. But it was at Gare Saint Lazare in 1877 that Monet brought us up close, so we could smell the smoke and the hot engine and hear the squeaks of steel on steel. Impressionists liked to paint what was there, not some stylized representation of a subject. The steam and billowing smoke obscuring a train and filling the field of view was exactly what Monet wanted. This is what it was like to be near a steam train. The impression one gains at the moment of arrival of the train. The smoke and steam almost obliterate the Paris skyline in the distance, but it's unmistakable. The station itself is glass and open spaces. Blues and greys and noise and energy, dark mighty engines loom out of the smoke, announcing their presence with the squeal of brakes and thunder from the smokestack. Trains had only been in France for about 45 years at this time. This painting gives us an insight into the new world, a busy world of passengers, speed, heavy machinery, guards and officers, all new job roles created by the railways. The painting takes us in close. We can hear the release of steam, the steel upon steel wheels, the hubbub of passengers there on the left. We see the official, almost officious, guard signalling the train, ensuring that all parts of the station stop are handled safely and efficiently. The tracks crisscross and various other passengers or guards await its complete stop. But it is the smoke and steam that fill the painting. It is not just a depiction of a new era, it is the means of depiction that is even more new. To paint the smoke obliterating the station seems obvious to us now, but when Impressionism was new, the painting of what was actually seen right there in front of your eyes, rather than portraying objects, here is a train, here is a building, here are people, here is a few dots of stylized smoke, was revolutionary. Rather than a kind of summarized listing of essential objects, we are given the whole story in one bite, the impression of a train station at the arrival of a train. Perhaps Monet was signaling through the dozen or so paintings he did just of this train station that Impressionism too was now arriving. Perhaps he was still smarting from the reaction to his earlier controversial painting. But you can't hold back progress. Stand clear, take a step back, we have arrived now. This is what real painting is all about. Get out of our way or be run over. There's far too big a head of steam up now. This is real life. This is how we portray it now. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please press like. 
If you want to be notified when I put out more reactions to great art, please subscribe. See you next time.